Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Velelene Ngosi. In this video, I'm working on a previous question paper. The paper was written in 2023 from the Department of Basic Education. So this paper was for mid-year exam. So it's for Life Sciences Paper 1. Uh, I'm on Section B, which is Question 2, 2.1. So this question is based on the female reproductive system. So like I will be working on this question and then if maybe you want to work on the questions before you see the solutions, then you can post the video here. So here are the questions that I will be working on in this video. Then you can post the video here, then see the solutions after you work on the questions. So without wasting more time, let's get to it. So here is the diagram. So before I answer the question, I would like to label this part here. So 2.1 say the diagram below represents female reproductive system. So this is the female reproductive system. And let's see part number A. So number A is this tube. The name of this tube is called a fallopian tube. So the fallopian tube connects the uterus and the ovum. So after the ovulation, this ovum is traveling via the fallopian tube. So this is one of the functions of the fallopian tube. And then number B is this wall inside the uterus. So the name of this wall is called the endometrium. So this is the endometrium. So this wall every month is crushed and then a new one is formed so the, the thickness always crushed and then a new one is formed so during the menstrual cycle that is where this wall is crushing and then a new one is formed every month and then number c so number c it's a vagina so vagina is the place where a penis releases sperm so the sperm cells are releases inside the vagina so this is one of the functions of the vagina. And then number D, it's a uterus. So number D, it's a uterus. Uterus carries the fetus. The fetus grows inside the uterus. So these are the labels for this diagram. And then now I will go to the questions. So uh, the questions will appear underneath the diagram and then the solutions will be here so but i will explain everything so let's get to the first question so question number one say identify part b so it's for one mark so here we just have to identify the part b so the part b is this wall inside the uterus the name of it is an endometrium so 2.1 point it's supposed to be 2.1.1 so this is the endometrium and then the next question so the next question say name the process that takes place in part a that leads to zygote formation so zygote is when the sperm cell fuses with the egg cell so part a is a fallopian tube and then in the fallopian tube the process that takes place in the fallopian tube is a fertilization so the answer here it's fertilization and then Let's get to the next question. The next question 2.1.3c. Describe the process named in question 2.1.2. So now we have to describe what is fertilization or what happens during fertilization. If you see the marks here is only a one mark. So you just have to tell what is happening during fertilization. So during fertilization, it's when the egg cell fuses with the sperm cell because if you remember the sperm cell contains genetic material so what that what it does it, it deliver genetic material to the egg cells and then a zygote is formed so 2.1.3 the sperm cell fuses with the ovum so this is the process of fertilization and then now 
let's get to the next question so the next question say describe the development of zygote until implantations occur so after fertilization the zygote is formed and then it divides by mitosis so mitosis if you remember mitosis it's a cell division so after the sperm cell and the egg cell fuses together and then a, they divide by mitosis to form a solid ball of cells which calls a morula and then this morula then will divide further and then form a hollow fluid called blastocyst so this process that i just explained you have to be able to write it neatly so that the examiner will understand what are you trying to say so uh, the best way to answer it is better to write it in a point form like here 2.1.4 you can say zygote divide by mitosis so this zygote is divided by mitosis and then more cells are formed and then to form a ball of cells so this form uh, this uh, this division causes a ball of cells and then this ball of cells is called morula so uh, if you explain it like that then you show the examiner that you understand what are you talking about and then again this morula will develop into a hollow ball of cells so here what happened this morula also divides by mitosis and then will develop a hollow ball of cells and then this hollow ball of cells is called a blastula or a blastocyst so the blastocyst is the one that will be implemented on the uterus so that is where it is this this blastocyst it is implemented so if you explain it like this then you will get all this four marks so this is the explanation and then now let's get to the next question next question say explain two ways in which part d is structurally suited for gestation when we talk about gestation we talk about the pregnancy so we must explain the part b part d uh, the part d it's a uterus so we must explain why the uterus is suitable for pregnancy so uh, 2.1.5 you can say it is muscular and then the reason it is muscular is to protect the fetus inside from mechanical injury so this thing is muscular and then it's muscular it protect the fetus inside from mechanical injury and then another thing we can say it is flexible or it, it can change its shape to accommodate the growing fetus so this fetus inside it has to grow that is mean this part it has to be flexible so that it can accommodate the growing fetus and then another thing you can say it is hollow so this thing is hollow to accommodate the growing fetus again so this are uh, the reason if you explain it like this so you explain and then you give a reason so that is how the examiner wants you to answer this kind of questions when they say explain you, ex you tell what happened and then you give a reason so and then now let's get to the last question the last question say describe how the secretion of the prostate gland provide protection for the sperm from the condition in part c so when you talk about the part c part c it's a vagina and the condition it part, part in part c it's a acidic condition so this condition here has a lower ph and then the sperm in a lower ph will not survive so for it to survive the prostate gland secreted a fluid so this fluid it's an alkaline substance so when this alkaline alkaline substance uh, enters the vagina it causes the condition here to be neutral so uh, when this condition is neutral then the sperm will be able to survive a little bit longer because the condition now has changed so 
to answer the question number 2.1.6. You can say the secretion is an alkaline fluid. So the prostate gland secrete the alkalinic fluid. So this alkalinic fluid will neutralize the acidic condition of the vagina. So now uh, when the sperm cell is released inside the vagina, it will be, it will have a neutral condition and then the sperm will be able to pass through to go to the fallopian tube. So this is how we will answer this question. And I hope I make sense. So this is the last question. If you have watched this video to this far, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. So if you have, if you are studying, good luck with your studies. Thank you very much. God bless you.